Welcome. Welcome to, to Shade, Shade in the City. City. I'm your girl, Treese. It's no. And today we are jumping into our review of, well, the weddings of The Love is Blind, episode 10, uh, season five. Make sure you hit that like button on this video. And that subscribe button. And y'all, let's get into it. Keep it short and sweet because it won't much but some weddings. But uh, yeah, let's get into A couple weddings. A couple weddings. But let's get into it and let's get shady. You ain't got to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> So please excuse my notes on this one, but well, we see Izzy and Stacy's wedding day. Uh, but it, Izzy is admitting to his groomsmen that things have been rough, and they had a difficult time discussing his credit. Um, he feels like love has nothing to do with credit, uh, a credit score, money, and he loves Stacy, but marriage does, and plans you know, and plans to keep fighting. He's going to fight the good fight, y'all. He says he's going to say yes. Um, Stacy talks about how different they are. And one thing I noticed, we talked about last um, last episode we did, Stacy didn't have on that jacket no more. It didn't say what, Zapata? Zapata. It said bride. Mm. Did you notice? I did. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't the last name no more. I didn't know that. Well, maybe she took my advice. So Stacy talks about how different they are and how she's been exposed to so much. And, you know, he's been exposed to Chipotle. And that's as far as he's been. So her sisters think that, you know, he will be a great addition to the family and he'll learn. He'll get accustomed to, you know, this fine lifestyle. I would get accustomed real quick. Um, She sits down and talks. You're, you're not a dude. Oh. You got to provide the lifestyle oh, oh, oh okay um she said that because i was gonna say i could say that i learned i can learn where to put my fork and my spoon and how to do it so the dinner is when it's a good dinner it's a bad dinner i learn. i can learn how to do that <laughs> <laughs> i can learn how to do that <laughs> y'all know when the, when it crossed down that means it's bad service i'm just telling y'all something y'all you know about etiquette skills um she sits down and talks to her mom about feel um about her feeling as, you know, Izzy didn't bring up certain things that she felt like she should have known sooner. And I'm going to just tell y'all this. No, I ain't going to tell y'all that right now. I ain't going to spoil it for you. I'm not spoiling. I'm not going to spoil it. So um, Stacy says it's not about money. It's about trust. And her mother says, don't ignore red flags. But, you know, she doesn't want her to blow things out proportion. So Izzy decides to have his groomsmen craft a heartfelt letter to Stacy uh, before the wedding. Um, I said in my notes, I think it was a last plea to accept him and all his. So Justin comes to deliver the letter to Stacy, and Stacy, you know, was like, "Stacy, you're a lacy, and I want to chase you." And it was, it was real. It sweet. was corny and it was cute. It was corny. It was cute. Um, so Stacy said that um, she asked for notes, and he delivered. And she loves that when she tells him what she needs, he listens. And I said, I can identify. But how long does it take to get there? I'll see you when we get there. Tell me when we get there. <laughs> so Izzy's mom stops in to see him and lets him know how proud and happy she is of him. Um, Stacy's dad comes to check in on her. And see how she's doing. She's still flip flopping, uh, being a chancleta as she is. And uh, they exchange or what did she call sabatos, sabatos? That's what you call them. They exchange beautiful vows. And he's like, "I love you." And uh, she's like, "I love you too." Um, but says, "I can't do it." So Izzy says, "I do." And she said, "I don't." Not right now. She said not right now and says they need more time. She says she won't marry him that day. So Izzy says he understands and that he loves her. And I thought 
I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, I was crying at this point. I was literally in tears. I was crying. I cried through this whole episode. I cried through this whole episode. It was very emotional for me for several reasons. Um, not because of these people. Um, so she watching these people and it wasn't because of these people. It wasn't these people. <laughs> um, and so Izzy, you know, um, Izzy agrees that it's fair for both of them to be in the right spot before getting married. So she leaves and he leaves shortly after in tears. We're all in tears at this point. Um, except Nils. I'm I'm in tears. Izzy's in tears. Stacy's in tears. Uh, he said he's hurt and he's sad. And you know, his mother comes to give him a pep talk and says that she's not there to, you know, talk shit about anybody. But that changed shit. She ain't say she really ain't do that. <laughs> um and but she said that, you know, she's just there to comfort him. She tells him that. You know, this might be a bad situation now, but it'll prevent him from hurting later. You better listen to your mama because you ain't got it. Um, Stacy's mom is talking to Stacy and letting her know that she thinks Izzy is genuine. And they meet up to talk and Stacy still wants to work on the relationship after turning him down. As she said at the altar. But now Izzy doesn't switch. He said, it's the infamous if it's went yet. And um, he doesn't want to move backwards. He said, why are we doing that? I accept you for who you are, everything that you are, your messy hair, your bed, you know, without no makeup, when you come in with the bags under the eyes. She said, I you, accept you too. You're, I'm just not willing to marry you. You say you're 30, but you're giving 40 plus. <laughs> um, can't do all that. I'm she saying that. Extra. You say you're 30, but without makeup, you're giving 40 plus. That's what they do. Uh, that's and, what they do, and maybe that's what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do. Um, and you know he's he's heartbroken. <laughs> so he asked her, "When is ever going to be the right time?" And I was with Izzy on this. When you get together, that's when. Clearly, I can not. love you. That don't mean I got to marry you. My thing is, I'm married into this BS. I know now. I finally know that this is this is what it is. Because you wasn't willing to tell me before. You was telling Johnny, but you wasn't telling me. And um, so here's what I was trying not to tell y'all to be a spoil. But I think that if he would have said, I have bad credit, they wouldn't have made it this far, is the reality of the situation. So he thinks that, you know, stop it. He says he wants to be loved. That's why he wanted everything to be. So maybe he can try to pay off the debts. Maybe he wants to be loved and feels the way he loves, and he feels he deserves that. Um, he thinks that she's just happy oh, by not doing the rose petals and not cooking dinner. He feels that she just wants to be done with the process. Stacy just and and, 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 and then, and then once, once he gets over his initial emotions, uh -huh. he's mm -hmm. like, Well, you know what, bitch, that's why you still 33 out here dating 45 year old men that it can only offer you money. At least they do what they say they're gonna do. And that's all I have because this I'm not about to marry. I'm not <laughs> she I, I was crying, y'all. I was up here in tears. I was like, oh is it? she's not making it that for at least they do what they said. You, so, you ain't cooked me no dinner yet. Okay. Sir, you ain't give me no flowers. You ain't do no rose petals. You ain't he gave that. flowers every Monday. But a house. We already had this conversation. All right, y'all. Exactly. Let's, let's, exactly. let's get into Lydia <laughs> Milton because we see Stacey and this man didn't work out. And it don't seem like she really gives you. She said, this is on it is. Okay, so yes, it's time for Lydia and Milton. Um, Lydia has on a whole bride sweatsuit, okay? It was cute. It was With cute. a purse to match. She's super excited. She was like, can you tell I'm the bride? Yeah, yeah, look, I'm being just like, can you tell I'm straight in the I'm, city? I'm, right. <laughs> All right. So Lydia made it pretty clear that to her family that basically she's saying yes to all her. It was giving very much um what's that broke man name? Was, is he? Is he is he? It's giving very much <laughs> mad that you refer to him like that very much is the energy that's what she's giving right now 
So, you know, they're concerned about his age. And she said, he is not your average 24 year old. Okay. My boo got it together. All right. He's a whole engineer. You know, he making that shmoney. Shmoney. Can we say that right? Don't do that. He's clearly more emotionally mature, even though he's 24. But is he what, 29? Don't do that. (laughs) Anyways. Milton feels that Lydia is the exact woman he needs. He said he'd been up since 2 p.m. the day before. Got off at 7 a.m. And listen, this was top priority. He getting married today. It ain't, ain't nothing going to stop him. He's going to have a great day today on his wedding day. So he did start feeling a little bit nervous, start feeling a little jitters, you know, because he said nobody's ever 100%. But well, Stacey said that's what she needs. She said she needs to be 100%. But according to according to Milton, ain't nobody ever gonna be one hundred percent. Now, in his last minute, you know, last minute ass, final hours, he decides to write his vows. I ain't gonna lie, that would have pissed me off. Yeah, had I known, you know, good thing she ain't know because she's 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 very much a Virgo. I'm not gonna say very much. Maybe she's an August Virgo. I don't know, but apparently she's a Virgo. But um, had I known, it would have been a last minute thought. It would have definitely pissed me the hell off. Um, but Lydia, Lydia's mom, she expressed how much she's proud of her and how she knows she's going to be happy. And they make a beautiful couple. I don't know if I 100% agree, but at least they both, you know, are happy. Anyways, uh, Milton's dad, James, comes and gifts him some um, cufflinks. And gives him some words of encouragement and advice. He said people are going to question that timeline. You know, it ain't been that long since y'all decided to get married. But it doesn't matter. And tells him, remember, everything is good during the honeymoon phase, which is for the first two years. Most of it's like, hold up, the honeymoon phase is two years long? Is that long? Because that might be as long as we make it. But right, don't matter. Don't matter. Okay. So, you know, he told him to make sure to communicate. Um, and don't take each other for granted and to fight fair. Super important. A lot of people don't know how to do it. I think that takes therapy. To learn how to do that. Check one up. You know what? She done, She said, you know what? I done had my turn. It's your turn. I'm scrolling through IG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, go on. Go on. Buddy. Go on. We just don't want you to top of your head, okay? <laughs> um. So Milton said, you know what? He got this. He listen. F everybody's concerns. This is what he got. But he is he is feeling a little bit nervous because he feels like everybody has the same concerns. So they are starting to creep in, and maybe they're seeing something that he doesn't see. I felt like that was a you know a little mature. Yeah. Little bit. So at the altar, they both said some beautiful vows um, that brought tears to the guest's eyes, and it brought finally, tears to my eyes. We know you cried the whole episode. I cried the whole episode. Sure, we are. Um, and basically, yeah. So, yes, we finally have a couple that made it through that said, I do. Okay, finally. After how many couples? What was there? Four or five that started off originally. Now we got one that finally made it through. Clearly, uh, it's given love is really not blind. No, not according to what they said. It's really given love is not blind. Um, and basically, they kissed without even giving this, getting the instru- instructions. Um, and passed, let him know. I ain't even give that instruction yet. So finally, when he did, they kissed, and you know they pass each other's ring, and they say, "I do," and I said, "Crazy love wins." Well, maybe the other one's crazy for accepting the crazy. Maybe. Well, Izzy, he still teary eyed for the crazy love. Crazy, but not toxic. I'm here for crazy. I but said, not toxic. Yeah, not toxic. We don't like toxic. Okay. Um, so Izzy is still, you know, teary eyed. She said, I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. He deserves someone who gives him the same effort that he puts in. I guess that means shit. Not a damn thing. He took her on the hanger and the plank. Don't do that. The show did. Don't do that. The show did. He gave the idea and the show did. We're quiet now. 
He was a hazel. Because he couldn't because he couldn't even cook dinner. Don't that would have been effort. Flower petals, that would have been effort. He brought her a plunger. Oh, okay. Look, look at you. Look at you. Look, look, look. You want to record, but you you on battery safe. Don't do that. Look. She's a hater. <laughs> She's a hater. <laughs> so, you know, Stacy said that Izzy opened her up emotionally. Well, she doesn't and do. physically. She probably needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, but she doesn't, you know, she, she doesn't do that. Okay. But basically she said she didn't have 100% certainty and fairly certain just isn't good enough for her to say yes for the rest of her life. But they both agreed that love is blind. I disagree. Y'all basically showed that that is BS. Okay. And the other two couples, JP and Taylor, the sugars. And, and Uche and uh, Aaliyah ba both basically expressed regret and not going through with the process. Johnny and Chris said they have a lot to work on, but they don't plan on giving up. Okay. And Lydia and Milton are the only ones Chris ready, said, to I'm start still their love, a for love. ready to start their life together. So, yeah, that was basically it. They're, out of all these couples, clearly y'all picked the wrong couples to follow because there was other couples I know on the show that decided to stay together. Yeah, I picked the wrong couple to follow because there was there was a little bit of drama, but they was off the show. And there's only one couple that, you know, stuck stuck it out. So, well, let's let's see for the reunion. It come out this weekend. Oh, does it? I think Sunday. And it's not gonna be live. They they realized their mistake from last season. Mm -hmm. they, they did a little crawl. Right. <laughs> it ain't gonna be live. We ain't doing that again. And I hope, Vanessa. That you hold people accountable because you know, I I wasn't involved, but I heard the streets was a little mad at you um about last season. So we'll see how that go. But yes, guys, we appreciate you being here for our, our review of episode 10, The Weddings of Love is Blind. If you have not, or what is it called? Bye bye something. Uh big big love is the weddings. All right. Um, if you haven't already, Shay Squad. And our new viewers, please make sure that you hit that like button. You comment. You subscribe. And you hit the notification bell. And make sure you're following us on all the platforms, the TikTok, the Twitter, the Facebook, and the IG. And we will catch you for the reunion and see what's the popping Probably hype. in a couple days because it, it's literally, I mean, what it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning here. So it's out. It's probably out now. Oh. Well, we're going to get into that reunion soon. All right, y'all. Love you. Thank you. Bye-bye.